Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to City of the Farm with Richard and Victoria. We got a lot going on this morning. We got to fix some fences. We got to get ready for the cows. We got to go pick them up. They're about an hour away up to the north of us. Um, so yeah, come along with us for the ride and here we go. Samson, hi. What's going on? Let's go. As you can see here <laughs> this fence is kind of decapulated sorry about the sun right now um, but it is coming up in the east but yeah this is uh, one of the projects that's coming up with those steel posts that I was talking about all the way up there 750 feet yeah um, this corner here you can see it's just uh, woven wire with one piece of uh, rebar on top that's uh, not really doing much of anything to hold anything in so that's going to be a, a, a lot of work there. I did, uh, this side here was doing the same thing, but for temporary right now, because we got cows coming in today, um, I did reset this side. So this is what it's supposed to look like. That nice and tight like that, but it's not supposed to have uh, this, uh, <laughs> this cobbled together here, holding it together right here <laughs> like this. Uh, this, this it, it, it fixes fence and mends them for right now. But all this is going to get replaced. Um, this is about 350 feet to the to the west of us right here, and that's going to get replaced. But that's what I just got done doing this morning uh, before I turned on the camera and started filming some of this. So I spared you some of the agony of watching me uh, cut myself <laughs> with the barbs, uh, poke myself, I should say, and uh, this the wire breaking about every 50 feet because it's been cobbled together like I just showed you. But now we got it there, it's strong. If the cow's putting pressure on it, it, uh, it should hold up for now. All right, well, we gotta do another spot over here to the west of the property by the garden. Uh, we gotta put some uh, woven wire back together uh, so the cows don't get up around Victoria's garden. She'll really appreciate that. So we're gonna do that next. So Samson's gonna run alongside the, uh, the gator with us and he has fun doing that. Sometimes he jumps in, takes a ride with us, he loads up. So, all right, here we go.
here we go. We'll go over here by the garden. Come on, Samson. <laughs> so anyways, there's Victoria's garden. Everybody saw that earlier this year in some of the earlier videos. We still have some corn. We got carrots still in the ground that are just now getting mature. Uh, the tomatoes, there's a couple left, but they've pretty much had it. The bell peppers, they've pretty much had it. The green beans are gone now. We ate the last of those last night. Uh, but we still got corn that's coming. Um, we had a couple of ears. They weren't fully ripe yet. We're going to give them about another week. And then our fall corn will be uh, really good for a few dinners there. And then all this, Victoria's done a really good job of keeping the weeds out of there and everything. Eventually, this is going to be raised beds and uh, a high tunnel or a greenhouse, if you will. Uh, here in Missouri, they call it uh, a high tunnel. So we're going to have a 20 by 30 high tunnel. And this will be a 60 by 60 area. So we'll have another uh basically 20 by 30 area uh 20 by 60 area 30 by 60 area that'll be all raised uh beds and then it'll all be nice four by fours around with with uh um with two by sixes at the top and the bottom and then we will reuse this chicken wire right here the reason why we double fence this somebody said in the com in the comments why did we double fence this well i didn't have anything else at hand to hold the chicken wire up except these cow panels so we put these cow panels up we actually took them from that fence over there and brought them over here just for temporary for right now until we get the the, the permanent garden in this was just to get us going for the first year uh, these cow panels serve their purpose when we're done with them we'll put them back on this fence here and we'll take off this other cobbled stuff that we put together so right now you know it's just cobbling the uh, the farm to, together because it's been neglected for 20 30 years so but it's starting to look good it's starting to get there we're uh we're excited about getting our cows today we'll be excited about getting chickens in the spring um i, I have to hurry up and get busy and get a get a hen house built um and also a a, a place for fryers we're going to raise fryers and butcher our own chickens so yeah that's gonna be a lot of fun so anyways we're gonna set up over here and and get started on this fence and uh all right hello everybody this is so if you're gonna notice that the film ended roughly yesterday when we tried to get the cows out of the trailer way too early the fences weren't ready so what happened was, is besides the dog was barking, spooking them out, they're already stressed out from the move. And, and we didn't realize that when they t weaned them from their babies yesterday, instead of a week ago to where they would already be used to it, they're going to be wanting to find their babies, call for their babies. So they've been kind of, <laughs> they've been calling for their babies all night long. Well, one of them was actually stayed in the pen. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is where we let him out last night, yesterday afternoon. And we thought we would get him to just stay in this one area until they got used to us and got used to the fact that their, their babies are no longer there. I guess what happens is their milk has to dry up and stop flowing for them to stop wanting to find their baby. Well, what happened was, is the fully red one did not want to stay in this pen, tested the fence down at that end over there and pushed it. And because she could push it, she knew it wasn't secure and she jumped right over it. Well, we're on one corner. She went all the way over to the other corner where there's woods. See, the land they came from had woods and a lot more acreage than what we have, but she headed right for the corner that has trees until she got stopped by the two fences. So I went up there to try and 
calmly calm her down and coax her this way and I kind of got her halfway and we stood there for a while and in the meantime Richard was trying to get these fences fixed at, with the quickness so he called one of our neighbor friends and a couple neighbors came and they helped and they got the fence all kind of sturdied along the road because the last thing we need is for them to get out on the road and then they don't know where they're at we wouldn't know where to find them especially if they got away in the middle of the night well as you can see over on that side road that fence all the way down is awful down farther over there they the, the neighbor's cows that were over here literally just walked right over the fence so that's the last thing we wanted well at one point we got her she laid down out there and we decided to just let her be and they kept working on the fence well in the meantime we got the 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 red and white face which is called the red baldy we got her in this other area that's fenced off where my garden and the hay was because we figured well she wants the hay whatever go for it but we'll corral her in there so till we get these fences done so we tried to get her up here and then we just left her lay down there and eventually she wandered up to the corner kind of where she is right now because the other one was in that pen well it was getting late it was after dark but they did put before dark they put some electric wire inside that area because i have electric fence i have electricity on my garden so they just hooked it up to that so she would the baldy would stay in there with the hay well it was it was after seven we hadn't eaten all day so i went in the house and i fixed us something to eat well richard came in we ate and when we came out she was all the way over there mooing at the neighbor's cows and we were afraid that that's just in exactly where we didn't want her to be so richard walked her all the way around with the flashlight believe it or not he actually got her in in this area last night closed the gate but then he got a little too pushy and tried to get her in there with the other one and that's when she wasn't having it got all stressed out and she jumped over that fence again so not knowing what to do and not wanting her to end up over against the fence which she did she ended up back over there again so Richard kept trying to coax her in well I'm gonna head down over here so that I can show you what we ended up coming with in coming up with last night God is so awesome I stood there and I prayed and prayed and prayed for God to get that cow in there so we could lock it up just just put it in the one side lock it up let her calm down for the night well she wasn't gonna do it but God answered for another prayer so what we ended up doing last night to keep her from getting over to the road that the fence is, is that she can just jump over. We decided, well, right here is my garden with the electricity. We already had the electricity going around. So I don't know if you can see, I don't want to get too, they're, they're laying down. So I'm going to go around. I don't want them to get up. They're laying down. They're not moving right now. I'm going to kind of go around the long way because I don't know how well you can see it. So we ended up taking the wire and going straight down, all the way down, and blocked her in on this half. See, she went all the way up in that one corner where the trees are. I don't know how far you can see that. But we ended up putting this poly line with the electricity all the way down here and hooked it to the fence down there. And then we decided instead of giving her all that room right now until she calms down, we connected it from there to here. That left her with this space right in here, the gate open. Now we didn't have the gate open with the other one because we didn't want her to get out and try and jump any fences over there so they pretty much 
They were close enough to each other, but they couldn't quite get to each other. Unfortunately, one had the big water jug and the other one had little water jugs, but she did get into the end of the barn over there. It looks like he got some hay. But when we got up this morning, she was in here, the other one was in the other. So we decided the best thing to do to get them together and give them a little more space than what they had there is we put this same poly line all the way around inside there, inside the pen that she jumped the fence. Luckily, she was jumping the fence into the field and not into the road. So we just took the poly line up there and we opened up the gate so that the other one, so the red one could either get to the baldy or the baldy could come out and get to the red one. So we kind of coaxed, very carefully coaxed the red one away from the corner here to uh, get her in that field, which she did. And the other one went over there. The only thing is, is the other one went out. She didn't, the baldy went out to join them. And of course they went right out and right over to the corner, which kind of worried us a little bit. I know we got the electricity up there, but just in case, we, uh, oh, look at there, nice and quiet. They're laid down. They're still stressed, but at least they're not moving right now. They're laying down. So, so then, so I'll just, you look, look at my funniness while I'm walking around instead of looking at everything. So they went back into this corner, which I'm heading towards now, which kind of worried Richard, because if they jumped over that side in that corner, they would be out on the street. Now the fence he fixed was pretty sturdy there, so he wasn't too worried about it. Plus we had the electricity, but better safe than sorry, because I guess what happens is, and I'll show you when we get there, is they'll push on the fence. And if they think there's any give in it whatsoever, they'll go right over that. They might not jump over the top barbed wire. They'll go under that and they'll, they'll get over the part that is loose. So to make sure that nothing is loose, if they try to test it, going to turn it back around so you can see what I'm talking about. So right here, this is the cow panel. So if they tested this, now it's a little more sturdy. It isn't going to give that much. So we tied it up to the barbed wire we put across. But this, like a chain link fence, this is even more flimsy than the cow panel. And that's what was down there. She got this. She knew this was, was limp and went right over it. And then once he put this up there, I think the second time, I think she just went in between this and this. So we don't know if she got a little cut up or not. So last night we had kind of put a little wire to make this straight, but right now, because they went right for that corner, which is, there's the entrance to the property. There's the street. So Richard has now, he's going all the way around. See, I don't know if you can see that wire, but that wire is pretty hot. But Richard's going all the way around and he's making sure that this is all here so that if they push there isn't enough give that they can that they can know with confidence they can get out so he's going around making sure but it's going to probably take a good week I guess for not only them to get used to us but to also stop calling and trying to find their babies now, lucky for us, the farmer we got them from, he already had them trained on electric wire. So they respect the wire. So as long as if they test it just once and see it's hot. So what happened was I forgot to put in these two videos, the beginning and the end to cows coming home. Don't loose that cow. So anyways, forgive me for that. But now you got caught up and you saw what happened. So I just wanted to get those put in there for y'all.
and we'll see you on the next one. Maybe I'll get the video right next time. <laughs> God bless, and we'll see you all back here at City of the Farm with Richard and Victoria. Mm -hmm.